Hello students, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. I am your English teacher. Today we are going to learn English grammar, lesson number 4. Tenses, get cracking. There are 8 pictures below. Write a sentence for each picture using the simple present or present continuous as appropriate. Use the hints below each picture one has been done for you. Number one, now, two, every day, three, the now, four, now, five, every evening, six in the holidays, seven every winter, eight on weekends. One, it is raining now. Two, he reads the newspaper. Three, she is eating ice cream. Four, the monkey is climbing the tree. And you can see in the picture. have to write what the characters in the picture are doing exactly they watch TV they play tennis and so when he flies kite the girl dance the concept of time can be split into The present, the past, the future. The present, what you are currently doing, I am eating. The past, what you did some time back, I ate, I was eating. The future, what you will do later, I will eat, I will be eating. Verbs or action words may refer to the present, the past or the future. Verb forms vary according to that, thus the tense of a verb shows the time of an event or action. What do you do in the morning? I eat my breakfast. Present tense, we talk about events or actions that take place in the present by using simple present and present continuous tense. Examples, my uncle lives in Canada, simple present is driving from the airport to home present continuous now study this table present continuous m slash e slash r plus ing formed positive negative i'm walking i'm not walking we slash you slash they are walking we are not walking he slash she slash it is walking, he is not walking. Interrogative short forms. Am I walking? I'm walking, I'm not walking. Is he walking? He is not walking, he isn't walking. Are you walking? We are walking, we aren't walking. Simple present I slash we slash you slash they best formed he slash c slash it s slash es form positive negative i we you they walk i do not work he she it walks he does not walk interrogative short forms do you work i don't work does he walk? He doesn't walk. Uses. We need to know when we should use the simple present tense and when we should use the present continuous tense. The present continuous is mainly used for an action happening now. They are playing football now. Hurry up, your friends are waiting for you. I can't hear what is he saying. 
We use the simple present tense for habits or things that happen again and again. I go for a walk every evening. She often uses the internet. He usually walks till midnight. We use the simple present tense to talk about general truths, things which are always true. The sun shines during the day, birds fly, children grow very quickly. Simple present tense is often used for things which stay the same for a long time. She acts on TV. They live in Mumbai. He walks very fast. We can also use the present continuous tense to talk about something that is happening for a limited period of time, but is not happening just at the moment. Mr. Gupta is writing a novel. He has started a novel but ha- has not yet finished it. At this moment, he is talking to his friend. The present continuous tense is often used for things that people have arranged to do. In the future, we are going to Simla tomorrow. I am staying here till Sunday. The simple present is used for the future when it is part of a timetable. Our school reopens on 15th. The train leaves at 11th. To talk about personal arrangement, we use the present continuous tense, not the simple present tense. common error we go for a picnic tomorrow we are going for a picnic tomorrow verbs not used in the continuous tense verbs which describe actions can be in the present continuous or simple present but some verbs are not normally used in the continuous tense these are verbs of the senses example see hear smell test verbs of feeling example want wish desire like loved dislike hate verbs of thinking example think suppose know understand believed agree remember etc Verbs of possession, example, have possess, owned, belong. Other verbs like cause, wait, be, seemed, appear, need, contain, consist. Common errors. The boy is wanting chocolate. The boy wants chocolates. I'm agreeing to it. I agree to it. He is having a large family. He has a large family. She is seeming sad. She seems sad. Complete these sentences using the present continuous form of the verbs given in the box. Go, do, watch, disturbed, bite, have, talk, visit, play, knock. Nikhil is talking to his sister on the phone at the moment. They are watching a video. I am going to Kochi next week. Look, Ravi is biting his nails again. The boys are doing their homework. We are playing tennis tomorrow. Listen, somebody is knocking on the door. He can't answer the phone now. He is having a bath. You are disturbing me. Would you please talk quietly? Deepa is visiting her aunt at the weekend. Choose the correct form of verbs from the bracket to complete the sentences. She takes the dog for a walk every evening. Kangaroo lived in grasslands. Mr. Gopaland picks out his daughter from school at 4.30 every day. The Rajdhani Express leaves at 8.15. You tithe very fast. Many children spend too much time watching television. The earth spins on its axis once every 24 hours. The school holidays begin next week. 
Bats fly at night. I use the internet every day. The universe consists of billions of galaxies. We often have dinner in front of the television. Fill in the blanks with the simple present forms of the verb to help. You have to use do slash does in negative and interrogative sentences. Positive, negative, interrogative. He helps her. He doesn't help her. Does he help her? You help them. You don't help them. Do you help them? This is very easy. You can do it yourself. She helps you. She doesn't help you. Does he? Does she help you? They help him. They don't help him. Do they help him? It helps us. It doesn't. It should be it helps. H e l p s. It helps us. It doesn't help us. Does it help us? Complete the sentences with present continuous or simple present form of the verbs given in the bracket. They solved clauses on Friday. The moon shines at night. Mother is coming tomorrow. Padma seems very happy. Listen, somebody is tapping on the door. I want a little more sugar in my tea. <laughs> They know his address. I can't come out now. I am doing my homework. You can try the remaining yourself. It's very easy. Past and present perfect. The simple past tense is used to talk about events or actions that took place at a definite time in the past. Read the following sentences. Rahim phoned me yesterday. We watched a video last night. I bought this camera in Japan. The simple past is often used to tell a story. The present perfect tense is used to talk about events or action that took place in the past but have a connection to the present time. Read the sentences below. Would you like some juice? No thanks, I have just drunk tea. The form of the symbol past is the same for all persons. Most verbs end in ed. However, some verbs have irregular forms. Speak, spoke, spoken. Also, a list of irregular verbs speak, spoke, spoken is given in the appendix. We use the present perfect tense to talk about the present result of the past action. Mary hasn't eaten any bread. The bread is still on the table. Mr. Burma has gone to Delhi. Now he isn't here. We have cleaned the flat. The flat is clean now. I have bought a scooter, so now I need not use buses. Something that happened only a short time ago when the advert just... He has just gone out. The clock has just struck 10. Let's check out the conversation in these pictures. Did you come by train or by bus? I came by bus. Would you like some tea? No thanks, I have just eaten an ice cream. Okay. An action that happened during a period of time that is not yet finished with today. This week, this month, and so on. My sister has arrived today. I have seen Robert this week. Something that began in the past and has continued up to the present with since slash four phrases. We have lived here since 1996. We still lived here. I have known him for five years. She has been ill since Monday. An action that happened at some indefinite past time with adverbs which meant at any time up to now 
like already before never ever yet i have already finished my work have you ever seen a panda not never used the present perfect with expression like an hour ago at 8:30 yesterday last week last month in 2003 and so on the simple past not the present perfect should be used with expression which say when something happened at a specific time in the past common errors we have seen him a few minutes ago we saw him a few minutes ago i have bought this city yesterday i bought this city yesterday change the following into negative and interrogative sentences one has been done for you the trend left the trend didn't leave did the trend lead she fell ill she didn't fall ill did she fall ill she made the cakes she didn't make the cakes did she make the cakes the phone rang the phone didn't ring did the phone ring question mark is the remaining let me read out the questions you can try this in your own He signed the check. The police caught him. His dog bit him. She lost her earrings. He read the newspaper. They shut the gate. Complete this sentence using the present perfect form of the verb given in the box. Missed, lived, missed or lived. Repair. grow stopped help cook become go do i have to cook the dinner myself doesn't it taste nice satis has repaired the television it is okay now oh we have missed the bus shall we take a taxi The internet has become part of everyday life. It has stopped raining. Let's go out now. I have done a lot of work today. I'm very tired. We have lived in this house for 5 years. My brother has grown a beard. Mr and Mrs James aren't at home. They have gone to Delhi. Vivek has helped me to solve the puzzle. complete the sentences with the simple past or present perfect form of the verbs given in the bracket i finished my homework at 7:30 he hasn't phoned me so far i bought this rug in kashmir rupa is crying she has failed her exam i have seen ramesh just 5 minutes ago He was very busy yesterday. They have broken the city as you can see. Who has eaten the biscuit? The tiny the tin is empty. They have lived L I V E D should be L I V E D. They have lived in Chennai for 6 years. They may lived there for another Two years more. They lived in Chennai for six years. They moved to Salim last month. We watched the video last night. Our guests have arrived. They are sitting in the hall. Present perfect continuous tense. The present perfect continuous tense is used to refer to an action that is started in the past and continues to be done in the present. Example: He has been visiting his homework in India every year. We often use this tense in questions with how long or with since/for phrases. This tense is also used with phrases like all day, all morning, all afternoon read the examples below how long have you been learning english 
I have been learning English for five years. She has been practicing the violin all day. They have been repairing the bridge all week. Just check out the conversation. The picture. It has been raining since three o'clock. Study the table to understand the present perfect continuous forms. Have slash has plus been plus ing formed. Positive negative. I slash we slash you slash they have been walking. I have not been walking. He she it has been walking. He has not been walking. Interrogative short forms. Have you been walking? I have been walking. Has she been walking? She's been walking. I haven't been walking. She hasn't been walking. For the examples, he has been watering the plants and now his clothes are wet. I'm very tired. I have been playing tennis. Have you been panting? There is pant in your hair. You look exhausted. Yes, I have been running. Note. Don't use the present continuous tense with how long, since and for. Use the present continuous tense or the present perfect tense. Since is used with the point of time, 7 o'clock, last month, 2001 and 4, with a period of length with a period or length of time, example 2 hours, 5 days, a long time. The present perfect continuous is also used for an action that finished a short time ago. The results of the action happened in the present. Complete these sentences using the present perfect continuous form of the verbs given in the box, lived do, swim, cut, watch, rain, play, repair. I have been doing my homework since 7.30. The children have been watching television all afternoon. We have been living in Chennai for four hours, four years. His hair is wet because he has been swimming. I'm very tired. I have been playing badminton. My eyes are watering because I have been cutting onions. They have been repairing the road since yesterday. It has been raining heavily, so the streets are flooded. We used the past continuous tense to talk about an action that was continuing in the past. Examples What were you doing at 3.30 yesterday afternoon? I was watching a video. The lights went out at 7.45. We were having dinner at that time. As in the above example, the simple past went out shows that an action happened at a certain time while the past continues were having shows that an action was still continuing at a certain time in the past. The past continues is very often used in a sentence together with the simple past. Examples The lights went out when we were having dinner. It was raining when I got up this morning. We used the past perfect to talk about something that had happened before the past time we are thinking about. Example It was 10 15. All the shops had closed. The past perfect is often used when we talk about two past actions. We use the past perfect for the earlier actions and the simple past for the latter. We reached the station at 5.20 but the train had already left. The thieves had gone before the police arrived. I found that I had forgotten the keys. Complete the sentences with simple past or past continuous form of the verb given in the bracket. Use both the tenses in each sentence.
I dropped my bag while I was running for a bus. Rekha burned her hand while she was cooking lunch. It was raining when I came out. I saw your uncle when I was going to school. I cut myself when I was sharpening the pencil. He felt sleeved while he was watching television. While I was walking in the garden, I heard my bag. When I was reading a library book, I found a 10 rupee note between two pages. Put the verbs in the bracket into the simple past or past perfect form. Use the past perfect for the earlier actions and the simple past for the other actions. I felt tired because I had walked 10 kilometers. The film had already started when we got to the cinema. When the students had done the experiment, they wrote a report on it. She asked where you had gone. It was a good story, but I had heard it before. When we had completed the forms, we handed them in. There are several ways of talking about the future. They include the present continuous, the simple present, the will formed, and the going to form. Talking about the future. We use the present continuous change when we talk about something that we have arranged to do in the future. I'm going to Jaipur tomorrow. I have arranged to go there tomorrow. Mr. Pratap Singh is arriving this evening. We are visiting Singapore in a fortnight. Are you going to the club tonight? We are going to buy a television. I'm meeting Peter at 6.30. We're having coffee together. My train leaves at 8.10 a.m. Very often we use this tense as future with verbs like go, come, arrive, visit, meet, stay and so on. We use the simple present for official programs and timetables. The train leaves at 9.45. When is the next bus to Hyderabad? The school opens on 16 June. We cannot use the simple present tense for personal plant and arrangement. We should use the present continuous tense. Common error. I meet a friend this evening. I'm meeting a friend this evening. We use will to walk. We use will to talk about what we think or know will happen in the future. We will know the result in a week. I'm sure you will enjoy your visit to the Jew. I think she will get the job. My father won't be at home this evening. We often use will with I think, I expect, I'm sure, perhaps and so on. We use will when we decide to do something at the time of speaking. A. Can you meet me at 5? B. I may be a bit late. A. Alright, I will wait for you. We used going to, not will. When we have decided to do something before talking about it. Why are you filling that bucket with water? I am going to wash the car. Have you decided what to do? Yes, I am going to pay the money. We also use the going to form when there is something in the present which tells us about the future. I feel terrible. I am going to be sick. Look at the clouds. It's going to rain. Choose the correct future form of the verbs given in the bracket to complete the sentences. I think she will come to the party. I left my umbrella in the car. I will get it for you. Perhaps 
we will visit Darjeeling next month. The plane leaves at 3.30. Oh dear, I am going to sneeze. Mr. Manon is very busy at the moment. That's all right. I will wait. Are you going to the cinema this Saturday? Why do you want to sell your motorbike? I'm going to buy a car. I'm sure you will get the job. The phone is ringing. Okay, I will answer it. I'm going to read this book. I bought it yesterday. The next term begins on 20th November. Fun time. Here is a story which you have probably heard before. Fill in the blanks with the simple past form of the verbs given in the box. Lay, have, cut, cry, want, find. A man had a wonderful goose which laid a golden egg every day. The man wanted to get the whole goal at once so he cut the goose opened but he found no eggs inside oh what a fool i am he cried the remaining exercise answer these questions in complete sentences the students should try this in their own they can discuss among themselves if they can't Exercise and see. Look at the pictures below and the captions. Write what the people do for a living and what they are doing at the moment. For each picture, write the sentence with the simple present and answer with the present continuous. Use these verbs in the present continuous. Play, eat, read, write, show. Students try this and they aren't. They can discuss among themselves. Look by looking at the pictures, they have to get hints, the clues, and use the words given in the box and convert it into appropriate tense form. To fill in the blanks and complete the sentences. Walk in pairs. Tell your friend about some of the things you did last summer. Take turns, use the words given in the box. Go, visit, spend, play. Stay, finished, watch, walk. You can describe to your friend about some of the things you did last summer. Especially at home. During this lockdown, this COVID-19 pandemic, this year summer, how you had spent your time at home, you can write here using these words given in the box. You can share it with your friend and exchange ideas. Try the exercises. This will be fun.